Well, it's about an hour later, seven hours and 36 minutes into the day of Saturday, October 24th, 2020. Now, there are many who feel that the 2020 has been a rather crappy year. But the thing is, is that it is what you make of it. I mean, the thing is, that if a person only looks at the negatives and then become defeated by the negative, then that's what you see and that's how you feel. However, there are always different positives. Like, uh, we call it adaption. And the positives for me, well, the COVID lockdown, well, we weren't really locked down. Because you, if you had a car, you can go around any way you wanted to. Uh, if you want, you because know, you always say, oh, I'm going shopping, I'm going food shopping, these are essentials. And so, it kind of passed. For myself, the, the COVID thing uh, didn't really affect me that much because I didn't go to the stores. Uh, all the stores I shopped that offer online delivery. And so I just started doing online, online delivery and what I found out was that typically when you go to a supermarket, you do a lot of called aisle shopping. These are the impulsive buys. And you don't realize how much money you actually end up spending on these impulsive buys. And I've ended up saving a lot of money that I put into other equipment, other things I can get uh, uh, because I'm not spending my money on these impulsive buys. And, and so from my perspective, things have picked up, not not decreased, you know, not 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 diminished. So I ended up in terms of the whole COVID thing, I ended up being ahead of the situation ahead of the situation rather than being behind. So COVID ended up being a positive for me, not a negative. But again, this is this is in many cases, how if you're watching the news a lot, and I've stopped watching the news because I've got most of my stuff on Twitter. I, I'm a researcher. I do the work myself. I don't need a, an, an anchor, a, a, a pretty boy or a pretty girl, to tell me what's going on in the world. I do the work research for myself because well, I'm a researcher. Why, why, why wouldn't I be able to do that type of stuff? And, and it's part of history. It's part of uh, observing uh, human behavior. So it's part of cybernetics, so there's no reason why I couldn't or wouldn't do it. So, listening to the news, just sort of, like, what are they talking about? You know, there are a number of services out there that you can get that that, that are cheap and easy and free. And the thing is, as I said, what it cuts down, I, I watch all these vloggers, on, on, and when they're all going shopping, they go into Target and whatever they go into, and then they say they go in intending to buy one or two different things, and that's about it. And what happens? They come out with significantly more than they ever intended to buy. That's an impulsive aisle buy. That's that's impulsive uh, impulsive aisle shopping. And when you order online, you don't have that. And so what happens? You get just what you need, and that's it. There is no impulsive buy from there. And as that happens, as that, that, that occurs, uh, you end up saving money. So you have more money for other things. But the thing is, is that, again, if, if you see only the negative, if you're looking only at the negative, then, uh, then your life is going to see only the negative. And once again, you, you, what you have is you have these people... A lot of people that I find that are very angry, in particular with the old, with the with who have older parents, is they've got a busy life for themselves. They've become very successful, and at some point in time, they didn't have they didn't have time for their parents. Well, oh, my parents can wait. Oh, my parents can wait. And what ends up happening? And this is where YouTube and all the stuff I've done, everything I've done become spiritual. This is why I have, in many cases up here, when I talk about negative and positive and so on and so forth, I have the uh, icon of Paniya. This is the the protection. And you see your hands, like, it's like this, and that's a prayer supplication for, for help and so on and so forth. And that... Uh, 
this is where, at this point, I know uh, several people who were in this were in the situation. They were busy. They had their lives, and something happened, and their parents died or got very sick. This is where you saw a lot of the panic, where you see a lot of the anger, and the anger is the shock that. The person you thought was going to be there for the rest of your life no longer isn't. This is where the reality of death comes in. This is where the reality of death slaps in the face. Sometimes reality does indeed slap you in the face. It wakes you up. It, 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 the, the awakening is not a pleasant one. And in many cases, the struggle afterwards is to go back to sleep. And there are a lot of people who say, oh, I'm woke. Well, what are you woke into? I say, what do you mean, what, what am I woke into? Well... If you've ever done, if you are a lucid dreamer, aware of what you're dreaming, then you know that in many cases you can wake up and still find yourself within a dream. You can wake up and still find yourself within a nightmare. That you haven't woke up; you just woke up in your sleep, and that's as far as things have gone. So the question when someone says they're woke, well, what did they what did they wake into? What is their wokeness? In many cases, you'll find out they really haven't woken up in, into anything more specific in terms of being outside the matrix than they were before. They're just simply in a different position. Anyways, it's the weekend vlog, and uh, let's see what happens over the weekend.
Well, it's just about a uh, quarter to one on Sunday, October 25th, 2020, and uh, we're on the road. <laughs> we're in the we're in the middle of the of the weekend vlog, and we have another road trip to my parents' house still, but uh, nonetheless, we're on the road again. Exhaustion plays a key role in how you ride. It's either the weather or I'm too tired. I mean, my mind is not necessarily necessarily, necessarily there uh, to focus and pay attention on the road. We've got nine seconds before we have to before we start again. And so we're getting ready. There we go. Particularly for me, because I'm still a beginner, every time you get off the bike for a period of time, a week or two weeks, something like that, it, there is a, a, a readjustment being back on the scooter again. And it's significantly colder. I think it's about, uh, about 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So, not only is fall here, but uh, winter is as well. As we can see, as we come down the road before, with this road was all greenery. Now, the, the, the leaves are either turning red, or in many cases, they've even fallen off the trees. So, it's without foliage. I am riding with my gloves, so that's a, a, a new thing. Trying, trying this new road with my gloves. Someone's got a fire going. I can smell the fireplace. Now I can smell someone burning leaves. <laughs> better control of the accelerator. I'm still limiting myself. I'm still limiting myself to 25 uh, kilometers an hour. I have decided not to move up to the higher speeds. Uh, I just want to get make sure I'm, I'm very well used to the bike. I've got all the safety equipment and that I can handle things at the right speeds. And because I'm still a little shaky, even at 25 kilometers an hour, my, my, start, my starts aren't as good as they should be. Uh, I'm not moving the speed up at all. Not another dead, dead uh, squirrel on the, on the road. We're not on the highway. <laughs> We're on the side road. My parents have watched the videos where I've been driving down the street. And they notice how, how the scenery is. It's a very beautiful scenery, very nice route to go down. Most of the other roads are not as, uh, as uh, uh, picturesque as uh, this road is. I was, wa 
watching Clintus last night on my YouTube stroll. And he, I, I feel sorry for the guy because he's going through a bit of a, 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 bit of a, a bit of a funk. He's trying to get back. He was trying to get back to daily vlog, and it just didn't work out for him. He likes to have a coherence where he shows all the various different things, not just him talking. As some people complained, they didn't like him just talking. But then, is if you're not doing anything, then the vlog is basically the conversation. And even now, even though we're on the road, the vlog is still pretty much the conversation. It's just that we're on the road. <laughs> you have more scenery. Uh, of course, if you're holding the camera all the time, that's going to become an issue. But he's going back, he's going to a new format where he's going, he, see, he, he's, he's part, this is what's happened, is that they've, they've jerked the family channels around for the last four years so much that a large chunk of them are leaving. He's gone off to Twitch now, so uh, uh, YouTube isn't even his primary platform anymore. He's, he's, a, he's a Twitch guy now. But the thing is, is I guarantee you, in a couple of years, uh, Twitch will fizzle up because that's just the way things work out, is that sometimes you have a fan group, a fan following for a while, and then they fall off, and uh, you have to go find out the ne what the next thing is. Uh, this is part of being uh, in the sort of, if you want to call it show business, if you have a channel, then you have to find what people like. Otherwise, you stick with a format that you like, and you hope that you understand that people will come and go. Not everyone's going to stay and sort of applaud you. And you kind of have to be sort of satisfied with that. I am. I don't really necessarily care uh, how many followers I have. This is more for uh, uh, a record for pros uh, posterity in my own history. But uh, and this is the way researchers are. You have to have the researcher. If you want to do background research. You want to want to find out how good a researcher is. Do some background research. See who the guy is. Who, what, what does he think? How does he feel? The more information that's out there, the better. That way you can make a decision. Okay, is this guy an idiot or is he or is he onto something? Uh, just because you think your ideas are great doesn't necessarily mean other people think your ideas are great. Even if you're right, because you've seen something, you've done an observation, doesn't necessarily people will see uh, your observations. And even if they do see your observation, do they see what you see? Stop right now. Uh, let me blow my nose. Won't have the opportunity. Other, other two other youtubers are it's our life uh, uh, they've been placed on a restricted list so uh, they're not getting any views their views have been really dropped off uh, I noticed all of the family channels without the comments uh, the viewership is, is, is uh, down significant of course this is good for Disney because now everyone's watching Disney plus
I do. I'm not in the United States, obviously, but I am an American. I was born in Boston. Uh, and I ended up voting for uh, Donald Trump. Am I a Republican? No. I'm an independent. And the thing is, the way both the Democrats and Republicans hate Trump, Trump is essentially an independent. So he's the guy, if you're an independent, Trump's the guy you're going to vote for.